No. At first, a friend of mine, somebody I knew was a carrier. He transported bills for the dealers and printers. His bills were coming up to the states from Peru. He loaned me a small amount to get me started. When I ran low, I analyzed the bills I had left. They, they weren't great. You realize you could do better? I'm only upset. I didn't realize that I had all the tools I needed at my disposal until a year ago. The toughest part was mastering the texture of the bills. That's what we checked first. For. Elmer's glue. Risen and a little bit of flour usually did the trick. Elmer's glue. Nobody suspects you of printing fake money when you're buying school supplies at the store, especially when you have a kid at home. How long did it take you to come up with your first round of bills? <sighs> About two months. It was a lot of trial and error. Mixing and matching materials, perfecting my graphics, and dissecting every security feature of the bills. I always start with the Phantasma first. The ghost? That's what they call it. The Peruvian dealers. The ghosts. Fantasma. Mine has to be even better than the real one. I always keep a real bill on me whenever I'm working. Constantly comparing my work to the legit one. It's, well, it's an art really. Trying to compete with a real bill. Making it so realistic that you might even think a legitimate bill is the counterfeit one when you're done. You try to make yours even better than the real one. Take us through the process. From printing them to getting them out into the market. Off the record? We'll decide after you tell us. <sighs> Once I finished designing the bills, I put them into production. Just like any print shop. With extreme attention to detail. Every security feature must be exact. I mix the ink myself. I know the colors by heart. Then I pass the bills over to a team of printers who apply each layer to the paper, one by one. After the bills are printed, cut, and numbered, I pass them over to the finisher. Usually it's somebody I train to know the exact consistency needed for the bill to be passable. They add polish, weight, and texture to the bills. Once that's done, I give a final sign off and pass them over to a courier who distributes and sells the bills.